what's going on YouTube, it's Donnie Bialde. So all right, so it's the start of the Takumi Talks. Um, I'm bringing you this one first because somebody had actually asked about it. Uh, they really wanted to see this knife, so we are going to start with this one. This is called the Escort. The uh, product number is TKF213SW. It comes in a stainless color as well as this black wash. And we are going to get into everything. Um, this is a, uh, it's a multi-purpose design. Uh, it's a field knife. It's quite excellent, actually. In, in the hand, it feels pretty good. Uh, you'll notice that the grooves go this way. So you have path of least resistance when it comes to slippage. Rather than the grooves going this way, which would help slide out. It provides really, really good grip. Um... Before we get into that, get into this sheath. The Takumi Tak sheaths are machine pressed, always lock up, uh, always lock in hard. Um, these sheaths can be worn um, Molly compatible. You know what I mean. You can put them on your, you can put them on your. Uh, <laughs> I didn't hold that. You can put it on your rig and slip it out and be a okay. Uh, also, the clips. The belt clips are not just ambidextrous, they're not just rotatable, so you can scout carry or carry however you want, but you'll notice that that comes down, that goes up. Now I can take it on and off without having to remove my belt. Speaking of belt, they all come with these little guys right here that can be removed, open, closed, to adjust to the size of your belt. If you have a big belt, you take them both out. Um, just an excellent design on the clip. Uh, it's a pretty common clip, but it's smart that they use it because they're tried true and they work. Um, the, the sheets are always really nice. You got plenty of lashing points, plenty of attaching points. Um, you could put cordage on there, do whatever you want. It does have a drain hole. So if you are knee or chest deep in water, <laughs> knee deep where you're wearing your knife. Um, but if you're chest deep in water or you're going across a river or something like that, if it's pouring rain, water's getting in there, you don't have to worry about sitting on your knife. It's going to drain. Um, that's always a good thing to have. You'll notice that the uh, the full tang has a, uh, a lanyard slot rather than a lanyard hole, giving you more op uh, options so you can use a strap rather than a cord. Um, really, really good. You'll notice on all the best cameras, you have a strap hole because it's more security. Um, not only that, but you'll notice it has two more holes. Awesome for lashing. That means you can take this and turn it into a spear. You could turn it into a, a, some kind of grappling hook. Um, but the lashing holes are very, very good. Not only are they lashing holes, but you can take wire. Like if you own, own a, own some kind of ranch or you have some kind of wire fencing and one of the pieces of fence is down, you can take some of that wire, put it in there, you stick the wire through there and you twist it's a wire bending tool. It does everything. Um, so that's really good. If you are in um, really cold and wet environment, what you can do is you can take two pieces. Oh, I wish I had some next to me. I could show you. Um, but you take two pieces of like uh, 550 cordage and you make a little tiny knot on the end. You put the other end through here and you pull all the way until the knots hit. Now you just twist the two pieces all the way around and tie it off there. You have a cord wrapped handle really really convenient to have those there um you do so this is a flat grind i thought this might be hollow but it looks like it's a double flat compound grind and this grind goes to a saw and then up here you have a saw two completely different saws this one's serrations um and this one is just straight up jagged this is going to be great for carving out chunks of wood this might be really good for cutting through some wood. Um, we will check it. Now, these are all um, CNC machined. Um, even the grips are CNC machined. Everything they do is precision, precision, precision. Everything is just done right. Speaking of the grips, texturing is beautiful on this G10. It's just beautiful. Everything they do is just right. Um, I have tested maybe 15 of their knives somewhere in there i don't even know every single one of them was a performer every single one of them was sharp every single one of them was strong 
I have zero and I have had zero issues with any and all of them. And I keep one here because it's in my um, take it with me section. Ugh. So I have a few knives that I keep right there. This is um, the Takumi Tak Takumi. And um, this thing, I freaking love. I mean, I love this knife. This was one of the first ones that I got to um, review. And I will never let it go. I love this knife. Um, so this one, we're going to go outside. We're going we're gonna to check it out. Let me just give you some overall specs. Now, they call it a drop point, but it's really just a uh, like a modified clip, a flat clip. Um, but it doesn't really matter what you call it. It's just as long as it's got a point. Um, let's see. So full tang. Yes. Overall inches is 11 inches. The blade length. Oh, this is a zero zero. It's five and a half in the blade, five and a half in the grip. Lots of grip. Love that. Um, let's see. D2 steel. They do D2 pretty much just about as good as anyone that would call themselves the best in the league. These guys have mastered heat treating D2. Uh, your Rockwell is 6162. Uh, the blade thickness is just about 5 millimeters. Um, partially serrated, stonewashed, G10, yada, uh, yada, yada. Let's take it outside. Woo wee All right, it's a little cold out here. <laughs> oh, man, it's too bright. Hold on. Ooh, that's better. I got real sensitive eyes in the light. All right, so here we go. This thing is just sweet, man. This thing is sweet. This is boss. Actually, I got a stick right here, and I want to see the difference between the two saws and how it's going to go. And let's see if I can do this while holding it because I don't have I don't have a way to secure it. I might have to I might have to set it down and and do it that way. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's come over here. And there we go. Now I can now I can have it secured and nice and tight. Maybe. All right. So the serrations give it a nice saw action. It takes a little while, but it, it gets there. And now let's go with the actual. Wow. Holy Moses, I that mostly broke, but it was going through like crazy. <laughs> that is absolutely excellent. And not only is it sawing really well, but it's leaving this fine sawdust. Look at the hole there. Um, it's leaving this fine sawdust, which if you are sawing over your... Um, tinder pile it's going to help when it comes to uh, fire making that is really nice okay so the saw is really really well done really well done let's test the uh, let's test the edge on this guy <laughs> show me show me one of their knives that comes not shave sharp show me one because i have not seen one i have not used one tested one found one please um most excellent let's uh let's get it over to the stump all right so let's do a couple of uh four foot gravity drops we'll see how that tip dives in just natural that's not so bad it's got a swedge tip so a gravity drop is good You'll notice how really narrow it's like it's almost like a slab sided um, slab sided uh, grip. So leaving the hand should be really well. A lot of no spin uh, no spin throwers might really like this this grip, but man, that really really dives in there. <laughs> it's cold out here. All right, so let's do a uh, let's just do a straight push cut on the nylon rope super super clean that's what happens when you have a sharp knife a sharp knife take the extension cord give that a little dinger <laughs> and again just clean just clean let's use the serrations and see if we can't peel some of this cord look at that no problem no freaking problem so 
it's just, I mean, they make them, they just make them right. I have not had a single freaking issue with any of their knives. Ugh. Any. I mean, they're, they're just workhorses, man. These guys know what they're freaking doing. Let's go with the, uh, the plain edge. Let's see if I can hold it here. Look at that. Shave, shave, shaving the leather. Now we'll go to the serration. <laughs> you see what the serration's good for? Man, <laughs> that shaves. That shaves. I'm freaking cold. All right, let's try a, let's try the tire. Now the tire has been punctured pretty much all the way around, so I'm trying to find a spot and to get it go through. Ugh, this is going to be tough. Oh, there we go. It just, it just wants to move on you. But, I mean, come on, it's Takumi Talk. It's Takumi Talk. Let's, uh, let's go over to the, um, you know, it's not a true, like, combat knife because it's a uh, combat fighting knife. It's more like a K-bar, like where it's a combat utility knife. Because at the zero zero, it keeps the balance centered. So it reminds me a lot um, in hand of the K-bar utility, that USMC knife. Um, so it's while it's definitely not a combat fighter, it def definitely can be used as combat utility. Um, and yes, there is a difference. Boom, look at that. Plastic netting. No problem. Keep it on the plain edge. No problem. Go from the center. No problem. Um, this thing's pretty nice. This thing's pretty nice. I don't know if we're going to get any kind of um, chopping in the uh, weight in the chop, but we'll see. It, it, I'm telling you, it feels a lot like, it, reminding me weight-wise, like the, um, the K-Bar USMC. Look how well that bites in there. Um, I have to hold it down for chopping, but it's not a chopping knife. This is kind of like your all-around a bend knife. Do, you know, this is like a very multitasking knife. There's some tasks we have to find out, though. Hold on. All right, let's see if we can throw this thing. Let's see. Let's see. All right. I gotta measure out a spot probably first. This looks good. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. That actually was getting around. That was getting around. Let's see. Okay. I am uh, right around the spot I need to be in. I'm getting up. Well, if you're wondering if they can take a beating, yes. So that one left my hand. It came around and hit flat. So I need to back up just a little bit, I think. Let's see. Yeah, we're there. We're there. All right, let me, uh, let me find this spot. Let me find a spot. I just landed one and I forgot to mark it. Hold on. I think we're right about there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's about where I was. I'm like, where the hell was I standing? <laughs> All right, so now I know. <laughs> That's three in a row. I could throw it. Now let's see. Hitting the tip, it wobbled. You see any bending? Nope. Hit flat. Did it damage anything? Nope. These knives are tough. These knives, these knives are so tough, you can wing them into a tree and hit it sideways. You can wing it into a tree and you're not going to bend the tip. Um, nice. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it when a plan comes together, Hannibal. All right. Let's see. I told you they're all around knives, which means it should be good. Oh, let's see. Let's see. To bring on your camp and... And do whatever you gotta do. Woo. Trying to balance this thing. Okay. So let's see. Let's find something we can we can rip through here. Get a nice knotty piece of wood. Knotty, not naughty. Knotty. Alright, here we go. Here we go. There's some knots in there, boy. Boys and girls! All right, let's try this. Let's try this. We're in some knots. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. 
that's not heaven right down there. All right, so I'll tell you, this thing's taking abuse. It's taking some abuse. Take a licking, keep on ticking. Timex knife. All right, here we go. Let's go with the flat edge. Look at that. Look at how fine them curls are. Man. Oh yeah, you're gonna be able to get fires with this knife. Now let's try the serrations. <laughs> Man. I'm telling you guys, this thing is no joke. This thing is no joke. Takumi Tak does it again. I'm telling you, every knife I, I have used from them just performs. Just performs. I mean, golly. Whoop. I bet Rambo would carry one of these. Man. So would Pele. Oh, snap. All right, so telling you. Guys, they they just make good knives. It's what they do. Takumi Tak makes good knives. Knives that you can buy, you can use, you can keep, you can give, you can love. Man, you can survive. You can survive. They have any situation knives. If it's personal self-defense, if it's woodland, if it's get in the kitchen. I mean, anything that you need to do, there's going to be a knife that they have that's going to do it. I just, I don't know, man. Their products, their products always get me. Their products always get me because they just keep going. Um, just nice. Let's see, after going through all those knots, still, still shave sharp. Still shave sharp after all of it. I'm telling you, man, it's good stuff. Cut through a tire. We did everything. Still, still taking hair off the arm. That's the epitome of sharp. All right, so whoa, this was what the alert I think it was called man Whoever asked me uh, whichever one of you guys said hey, can you do that? <laughs> well, thanks for asking because this was fun to do in the cold. All right, so this is a good one We got more good ones coming. We got a whole bunch of these. We got seven more to go through um, we even have their other steel. I got one of their three CRs and a lot of people talk about three CR, but it's not the steel. It's the heat treat. And we're going to find out. We're going to find out if these guys can heat treat the hell out of a CR the way they can a D2. If so, we're in it. We're in it. So let's check. Hi, I'm Donnie B all day until next knife.